Wayne here with the Aventon Solterra 2, a brand, brand new e-bike with a torque sensor. We're gonna open it up and get it put together now. Okay, for the unboxing, as Aventon's box says, we're going to start here. So we'll take these flaps out. open it up and up here on top you can see it says your journey starts here and they go over a few things like uh, open the flap remove the four white box clips lift the cover and scan the QR code for assembly instructions even though I'm going to assemble it myself right now for you yep so right here it says take out the accessory box so we'll go ahead and take it out nice kit We'll show that to you in a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and seal this back up because next all we're going to do is remove the tabs from the bottom of the box so we could pull this part right off. So there are no more straps around the box, which is pretty good. So you don't have to tear this box open and, and uh, destroy it. In that rare instance, you need to return the bike for any reason, you still have the box without it being all torn up and having to go buy another one. So to get the top of this box off, you're just gonna squeeze these two little levers here and pull this out. You're gonna do that around the box or four of them, and then you're gonna pull the lid off. Okay, so now that I've removed those little white tabs, we should be able to grab the box from each side and lift it up a bit and take it right off. Venton has moved away from styrofoam. Everything here is now paper including strings to tie everything together. Yeah, paper and paper strings for packing. Okay, I'm gonna remove all the excess cardboard, throw it in the lid of the box for now. Aventon is always good with their accessory kits. So for the Sotera.2, this kit comes with decals, more decals underneath, and the user manual. In the box, you've got your pedals, your, your wrench tool kit, reflectors front and rear, battery charger. I love these wrenches that they give you. Bike grease, spare parts, and the connectors for the reflectors. Okay, now that you've got it out of the box, everything's cleared away, we're gonna bring the camera in and get started on the handlebar. All right, we're gonna start by removing this piece right here. We don't need this piece of cardboard in here. This is just for shipping, so let's get this out. We are gonna to wanna to keep this piece, so get that popped out of there, and you can toss this. Make sure not to not lose that little washer right there, so we're gonna keep this put aside for now. Okay, so this is a good time that if you want to straighten that up at all, go ahead and do that. Grab your handlebar. If it's loose enough and fits right on, we'll go ahead and put it on and tighten it up. But you can see it's not, so we're going to loosen this up a little bit. All right. Once you get that fitted on, you can kind of straighten it out. And you'll probably want to go back and straighten it up later once everything is set up. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and tighten this back up. I'm going to put that cap back on. Okay, so once the bike is done, I will go back over this to make sure everything is nice and straight and tight. Okay, so now you can get your wrench out from uh, the Aventon accessory box. Use the 15 millimeter side. You're going to need that to tighten up these lugs once you have the the wheel mounted on the bike so what i like to do is i like to loosen these lugs till they're almost falling off bring the washers out have a lot of space right here so that the bike can rest on it when uh when you when you mount this wheel now keep in mind this brake disc you're going to want to make sure to line that up with the inside of the brake pads right here so you're going to want to make sure to fit that in just right, try not to bend or scratch anything, and then uh, once you have the frame mounted onto the wheel, tighten everything down. So right now, this would be a good time to 
get a friend or somebody to help you, but I'm going to just try to do this by myself. This is a very light bike, so it shouldn't be too difficult. I'm going to raise it up, line everything up, rest it, go back and tighten everything up. To install the pedals, you have a right and a left pedal. The right screws on clockwise while the left goes on counterclockwise. And you can, again, you can use the event and wrench that came with uh, your kit. Use the 15 millimeter side to tighten it when you're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the right side. There's also a sticker here on the pedal to let you know which side is the right side. When you're done, just give it a nice little turn. Do the same thing on the other side. Make sure that you screw the left side in counterclockwise and the pedals are done. Make sure you get the display right where you want it and then tighten that down. So this was in a good, pretty good place for me already, so I'm just gonna tighten it up, make sure it doesn't move anymore. And once you're done, there is a film on the screen here, so you're gonna wanna peel that off or leave it on. I mean, you can see it pretty good with the film on, but if you want a nice reflective screen, then take the film off, otherwise leave it on. There's another piece of film here on the front light. Make sure to peel that off too. So out of the box, everything on the handlebar is going to be loose. The display is going to be loose, the light's going to be loose, and the handlebar is going to be loose. Make sure that you go back over all of this, get it right where you want it, tighten it all down. You're going to have two screws here to tighten up, two down here to tighten up, and on the display, you're going to have two on the sides, and on the light, one right here. So make sure that you go over all of that, get it right where you want it, tighten it down, and your bike should be ready to go. There's one more piece of film over here on the left on the gear shift. You can remove that too while you're at it. Okay, now that you have everything installed, make sure that you have the battery fully charged and the tires are properly inflated. Make sure the handlebar is nice and straight and tightened down. Check everything, make sure everything's nice and tight. Get out there and ride, and I'll see you on the next one.